Good morning. Welcome to our open morning. Join our Roman banquet. Find out why art is great. Join our CCF challenge. Experience robotics. Come see the Highland dancers. Look at the stars. Come and meet our principal. Come in. This is Franklin. May we ask you some questions? Yes, of course. Yes. Who was George Harriet? Good question. George Harriet was a jeweller and he was a jeweller to King James VI and I and he made lots and lots of money and he had no children of his own and he thought education was really important so he left money for Harriet's to be built and it wasn't just a school at that time, it was an orphanage because he left the money for the school to be built for fatherless children. So still today, we have boys and girls here who do not have a mother or father and they are called our foundation children and they're really, really important and the foundation is at the heart of everything that happens at Harriet's. What is George Harriet's like? What's it like? Well, I think I'll answer that question with telling you about our mottos. So we have two mottos. We have the official one, which is I distribute cheerfully. And that was actually George Harriet's family motto. And then he gave it to the school when he founded the school. And that means that we care for others, that we distribute kindness, that we distribute generosity, we distribute care, and we serve other people. So that's a good motto to have, and that's the one that's on your blazers. And then we have our unofficial one, which is work hard, be kind, and be happy. And if we all work hard, if we try our best, and we're kind to each other, then we hope that we can all be happy. So Harriet's is a happy place, where we help other people and we look after everyone and we look after everyone else out there too. How big is George Harriet's? How big is it? It is quite big. Um, so we have 1,655 pupils, which Whoa. seems like quite a lot, but we do know everyone who is at the school and we make sure we have systems in place so that we know everyone and know them well and we can help them. We've got lots of teachers. We've got 380 staff here, so that's a lot. We have nine acres of land, would you believe? Because we've got um, playing fields at Golden Acre as well as the building here. We do lots and lots of subjects. So we do um, 33 subjects at SQA level, which is National 5, higher, advanced, higher. And we do an amazing 93 extracurricular activities. So there's something for everyone. How special is it? How special is it? I think it's really, really special. Um, I think we are all one big family together. I think we all look after each other really well. We are academic, I would say. People do well if they come here, so that's good because then you've got choices of where you want to go when you finish school. We look after physical health, but we also look after mental health. That's very important to us. And we do some special things like philosophy teaching all the way from nursery right up to S6. And I think that makes us quite special too. So we've got lots of different things in the curriculum. Thank you for letting us ask you some questions. It's a pleasure. Thank you for coming. playing in the gardens. I really like all the clubs they have on offer. Harriet's makes me feel safe. I love Harriet's because the school dinners are amazing. People help each other and be kind to one another. Everybody's nice here. Harriet's makes me feel happy. Harriet's makes me feel kind and helpful. Whenever you do something wrong, all your friends help you. When we're stuck, the teachers always help us. I love the teachers and I have great friends here. You learn great things and it's just great. The maths isn't too hard and the teachers aren't strict. There's a lot of teachers I like and a lot of maths. I love seeing all my friends. Mr. Martin.
Morrison, please maybe ask you some questions. Callum, absolutely. Come on in. Hi, Dally. Grab a seat. How are you both today? Good, Hi. thank you. Great. What would you like to ask me about? Well, is George Harriet's is the junior school fun? Is George Harriet's junior school fun? Of course it is. I think it's the most amazing fun because we are lucky to have the most talented teachers. We're very lucky because there's a huge demand for teaching places here and uh, those teachers know how to make the learning fun. Very often the uh, people who have a look at our classrooms are surprised at how relaxed they are and how fun the lessons are. And I think that's because there's such a high level of very rigorous planning going on behind the scenes to make sure that everything's ready to go and then we can make sure that you enjoy your learning. Because I fundamentally believe that a child who is happy and relaxed and confident and enjoying their learning is going to learn to the full, don't you think? Yeah. Good. Will any individuals be able to fit into George Harriet's? Yes, is the answer, because we are lucky that our staffing goes way beyond just the class teacher. We have uh, support staff, we have different departments um, who all come, to different specialist departments, all of whom play a part in the young people's lives. And so it means that um, they will have as many as three different adults playing a part in their, their uh, lesson, and um, so that we can really reach their individual needs. And the teachers are adept at um, ensuring that they they're different they make sure that the learning activities are matched to the individuals in the class and so that every single individual absolutely thrives. It's absolutely vital to us. Yeah. What makes learning at George Harriet different to other schools? I think it is the level of pastoral care. We have a junior school leadership team with a deputy head and three deputies who are so incredibly talented and so diligent. They really ensure they know all of the children's, all of the issues that are going on pastorally for the children. And so they are able to liaise very closely with the senior school guidance team. Um, to, uh, to, to feedback on, on how, how they are prog progressing into the senior school, what support we've given them, obviously. Um, but also um, the uh, learning enhancement teams are very key parts because what they do is they take half a class away at a time and teach them a wonderful range of subject areas of philosophy and resilience, uh, to name just two. In learning enhancement, there are no pencils and no wrong answers. In philosophy lessons, we ask big questions, think deeply and build on each other's ideas. In resilience, our animal friends help us to understand our brains and respond rather than react. Our monkey brain helps us make decisions. And our elephant brain is our memory. And our crocodile, he keeps us safe. Outdoor learning is a big part of children's lives here. Uh, we have a wacky, a wonderful character who, who leads our outdoor learning and makes sure that all of our topics come to life through wonderful visits um, to all sorts of different places. So these are some of the elements that make George, George Harriet's different. Thank you for letting us ask you some questions. Absolute pleasure. Lovely to see you both. Bye. Bye. I'm in woodwork, learning the basic skills. I'm learning how to program by giving my computer instructions. I'm working on my National 5 portfolio. I'm looking at capturing social realism. We're using an Arduino to create an obstacle avoiding robot. Read it all. I like Harriet's because it's a great community. It made me feel very welcome. I love Harriet's because the teachers make the subjects come to life. Hello, Mr. Fackler. Hi, Sachin. We were just wondering if we could ask you some questions. Absolutely, fine way. So first of all, um, how different do you think the transition is from junior school to senior school? 
I, I guess it depends on, on what kind of junior school you're coming from okay. uh, in terms of the transition. But I would say that, that what most junior schools have in common is that you spend more time as a pupil in a class with a single teacher. Okay. So you tend to be working with that teacher and you're not moving around as much. Whereas when you come to a senior school, obviously you tend to be moving around from room to room and working with specialist teachers. So there's more movement than, than there is in the junior school. The second thing I guess people would say would be that there is more homework um, in senior school. Um, and whilst I guess that is true to an extent, there probably is a little bit more homework in senior school than in the last year of junior school. I think the biggest change probably is that, again, rather than having to work with an individual teacher, you are moving from classroom to classroom. You're working with a number of different teachers and therefore you have to get used to the different demands. You have to get used to juggling deadlines and managing your work over the course of the week. So I would say they're the two biggest differences between P7 and, and S1. And for someone who is thinking of joining in S3, what does Harriet's have to offer that other schools maybe don't? Okay, again, I suppose it depends where you're coming from. Um, I mean, if you're coming from the state sector, many state schools um, are just offering five or six subjects at NAT5. So the biggest difference there would be that we offer um, eight subjects as a standard kind of curriculum for pupils coming into S3. And we also have a, a very wide range of subjects on offer, sort of more than 30 subjects on offer. And we also have, irrespective of what school you're coming from, we probably have a wider range of extracurricular activities. So I think they would be the biggest... The biggest changes, obviously we, we, we have a very good track record in terms of, we like to be modest, but we have a very good track record in terms of examination results as well. Um, but I think in terms of first arrival, the big difference would be in terms of the, the range of choices available, both on the academic and the non-academic side. And so I've just started S5 this year, and I'm wondering, what will I be getting, be it Harriet? In terms of the, the S5 offer, offering, we can look at S5 in isolation, so we can talk about the the subjects that you're able to do at higher. Again, we offer a very wide range of academic subjects um, at higher, uh, so, so you're able to choose from those subjects. And we have quite a flexible uh, column structure, which has got subjects in more than one column, so you're able to do lots of different combinations within that fixed structure. We obviously offer the extracurricular activities we talked about before, but I think really you'd be thinking more in terms of entry into S5 as being a possible pathway through to S6 and, and university. So you'd really want to see it in the context of the more personalised, the more bespoke curriculum that we offer at S6, where you're able to choose quite a wide range of different subjects, uh, maybe some advanced hires, some hires that you haven't tried before, maybe something a bit more quirky, a, a non-SQA qualification, um, with a view to preparing yourself for university. And we, we've got, again, a, a sixth form programme, which is really geared towards giving you the kind of skills you need to really make that transition from school to university smoothly and effectively. That's great, yeah. Thank you for your time, Mr. Fairclough. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Good to see you. Yeah. See you again. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to English. In today's lesson, we're going to be talking life, death, God, the devil, sex. We're going to be talking a lot. We've got Shakespeare, we've got Shelley, we've got Sherlock Holmes. This is the best lesson of the day. This is English. What's to love about business education? Well, we offer not one, not two, but three amazing subjects for you to study all the way from National 5 to Advanced Higher. So if you would like to learn how to change this into this, then business education is for you. Life is a maths equation. To get the most out of life, we need to change the negative to the positive. Stay positive, work hard, solve the problem. Grow as a mathematician at George Heriot School. Geography is all about the Earth's landscapes, people, places and environment. It's all about the fascinating world in which we live. From climate change to migration, global health to tropical storms, never has the subject of geography been more relevant. Philosophy and religion is the place where you don't just get to ask the biggest questions in the universe, you also get to find out the answers to them. What is the meaning of life? Does God exist? How should I tell the difference between right and wrong? Come to philosophy and religion and you'll find the answers. Art and design is about creativity. It's about observation, imagination, problem solving and presentation of ideas. We can appreciate our visual world around us and see how artists and designers do just that. We can draw, paint, sculpt, produce fashion, textiles, digital media, anything. 
Are you a curious person? Are you a culture vulture? Are you a talker, a listener, or maybe both? Do you enjoy travel? Would you like to go on a foreign trip or an exchange? Come on then, come and do languages at Harriet's. Stand out from the crowd. In biology, we study life and all its mysteries, from bacteria to blue whales. Take the brain itself, billions of neurons and trillions of possible connections. We are here to inspire you and to help you reach your potential. Let's make those connections. Do you have questions about why the world is the way it is? The answer is simple. Choose history. Choose modern studies. Choose life. Pastoral care is at the heart of the senior school at Heriot's and every teacher, whether they're on the pastoral care team or not, cares for the well-being of our pupils. We have a head of year and year teacher who are the team that care for each particular year group in the school. It is their job to support our young people throughout their daily life at Heriot's and help them celebrate successes and face fresh challenges together. From S2 to S5, we tend to keep the same heads of year and year group teacher so that the pupils know their team throughout years through the senior school. In S1 and S6, we have quite specialist transition teams so that in S1, we support the pupils, welcoming them into the senior school, facing the fresh challenges of new subjects and new friends. And in S6, we ensure that our pupils manage to make decisions about life beyond Harriet's and the wider world, and we enable them to transition and celebrate their successes through the school. We very much focus on the well-being of our pupils at Harriet's, from Love Your Mind and Mind Your Head campaigns to our Flourishing Seasons for Growth courses, and also our position as a gold rights respecting school. We ensure that our pupils are listened to, cared for and supported throughout their time at Heriot's. Hi there, I'm Matthew Mounts and I'm the Director of PE and Sport at George Heriot's School. One of our main objectives is to get as many pupils as possible representing the badge. That's an opportunity for them to play sport for the school in whatever sport it is that they enjoy and they aspire to achieve great things in. One of the things that we did initially was we looked at how many sports we offer and what we've done is increase that tenfold. And the reason behind why we're increasing that is to get more and more pupils involved. We currently have about 90% participation rate in sport at the school. Interestingly when we did that it also had a huge impact on success at the school. Last session was probably the most successful hockey season Heriot's has ever had. It's not just a curriculum where you have to choose one activity. We run our extracurricular activities with our curricular activities to allow pupils to do multiple sports. I believe that all the pupils throughout their education should be able to compete in as many different sports for the school as possible and creating the model that we have allows them to do this. Basketball has been one of the fastest growing sport in the school at the moment from girls and boys. Girls and boys football is hugely competitive at the school. We've also implemented some activities along the lines of yoga, pilates and dance which have also proved particularly popular. With over 30 sports on offer at the school, we have pupils who want to participate socially and for the love of the game, but we also have a number of pupils who want to achieve the best they possibly can in their chosen activity. At times this is even to international level, and I'm proud to say we have over 30 international athletes at the school at the moment. We have them in a wide number of sports, and once they achieve international success, they get their poster put on the, on the wall of fame. This gives a great focus for the pupils who are in school and around campus to see these athletes on the wall. They aspire to be like them and achieve international success in their chosen activity. Hello, I'm Gemma Cousins. I hope you have enjoyed this brief snapshot into life at George Heriot School. I'm now going to talk you through the process for application in four easy steps. Firstly, we welcome applications to all year groups with the exception of Senior 4. Our key intake stages are into Nursery and Primary 1, Primary 6 and 7 and Senior 1. 
but we also have lots of other smaller intakes throughout the junior school and senior school. A lot of families in particular choose to come to us for the key exam stages at seniors 3, 5 and 6 due to our broad range of subjects available. Some of you are going to be coming to us from different curricular backgrounds and be a bit unsure as to when, where you should be applying, what year groups, etc. I would be more than happy to help advise you, so please do just get in touch with me. Number two, our application deadline. Apart from the nursery, there's one key date that you need to remember, and that is the final date for submitting an application to us is the 1st of December of the year preceding entry. Places in our nursery are allocated on a first-come, first-served basis and with some sibling priority, so we do recommend that you submit a nursery application to us as soon as possible. We have an online application form on our website, or if you prefer to have a hard copy, please just get in touch and we can get one sent out to you in the post. When we receive your application, we'll send a formal acknowledgement out to you. Step three, our entry days. Primary three to seven entry days are held in November and December over a few different dates. So we do ask if you can, if you can get your application to us a little earlier. All the other entry days for primaries one and two and the whole of senior school are held in January. On our entry days, we welcome children from all backgrounds, the local junior or senior schools. Perhaps you're coming to us from a school down in the south of England or an international school on the other side of the world. Wherever you're coming from will help put you and your child at ease and talk you through the process. Entry is competitive and all children do have to do some tests. But those who are joining us for junior school and senior one, we also break the day up with some fun activities. We feel it's really important to put children at their ease during their time with us. I've brought along some pupils today who've joined us over the last few years into primary six and senior one, and they're going to tell us a little bit about their experiences. Hi, I'm Valara, and I came at the beginning of this year for the S1 entry test. And I was super, super excited when I came in. It's a big hall and you do feel a little bit nervous, but everyone there feels the same as you, so you don't need to worry. All the teachers are very helpful and they help you relax and enjoy the test. I felt that once you start the test, it just feels like a normal day at school and you can just relax and enjoy yourself. Hi, my name's Toby. I joined Harriet's in primary six. The best part about the test is realising that actually the test isn't as bad as you think it is. So I would say if you're joining, don't worry, it's great. Everyone's feeling the same way as you are. I'm also going to tell you a little bit about Primary One Entry. We feel it's important that you understand that these are done in a very low-key manner where the children that are playing, they're looking at pictures and puzzles. There's no reading or writing involved. So step four our offers. We have agreed dates with all the other Edinburgh independent schools and they go out between January and February. All our dates are published on our website and in our information booklet that comes with our prospectus. We fully understand that many of you are coming from all sorts of different situations and you may have other questions and we've provided some documents for you to download on the links at the bottom of this page. They include information about the junior and senior school curriculums and subjects as well as our latest exam results and entry procedures. If there's anything that we haven't covered, please, please get in touch. We'd be more than happy to help you and all our contact details are available on the website. Hi, my name is Alistair Murray and I'm Bursar at George Heriot's. I'm going to tell you about the bursary and foundationer schemes that we have available to help you with fees. Both the bursary and the foundation schemes are means tested, which means that a family's income cannot exceed a certain level and are also dependent on the pupil passing the entrance requirements. Full details of the financial criteria are available on our website. Bursaries are available for pupils from primary six onwards and are awarded annually. The amount provided is assessed on an individual family basis, but will in general be at least 33% of fees. The Foundation continues the tradition of our founder and provides full free remissions for sons and daughters of widows and widowers. It is again available from primary six onwards. Bursary and foundation application forms are available from the admissions team. 
and the deadline for application is the 1st of December in the year prior to entry. Hello, my name's Heather. I'm the Foundationers Coordinator at Heriots and my job is to give more pastoral and sometimes academic support to our Foundationers and it's a wonderful job and I love it. So the pastoral support that we give might take the form of support over bereavement but equally it could be with anxiety or self-esteem or just worries from time to time. We like to get to know the Foundationers really, really well and I'll check in with them regularly. Sometimes because I'm a support for learning teacher, I can also help directly with work or managing work. I work closely with families, we're keen to, to work in partnership with parents and I have get togethers once a term at least where parents will come in and have a chat and sometimes we'll have a speaker but it's largely quite informal and just a really nice chance to catch up and get advice from other parents. As a school I think we're, we're really experienced at supporting young people who are bereaved or who are coping with change and loss. We have a Seasons for Growth programme, which is for anyone who's had a big change in their life, and we've got many trained teachers who can deliver the programme in school. We can actually deliver that to adults too, so we've offered parents courses in the past, and that can be great just even for parents to support their children who are doing the same thing during the school day. Um, we do teacher training, so we offer to train teachers on how to support bereaved children and young people, and that's always had a really good take-up and I think been really helpful. We also, as part of our citizenship programme in S2, we have three lessons on bereavement and loss. And we look at things like helping a friend cope with bereavement and what's OK to say and what can you say and how can you show them that you care. And actually, young people who've, who've been part of that have really enjoyed it and found it really helpful. So although it sounds as if supporting our young people would be a difficult thing to do and at times a sad thing to do, and it can be, it's also sometimes a tremendously heartwarming thing to do and can really make a difference. I hope you have enjoyed your virtual tour this morning and I thought you might be interested to know a little bit about what happens beyond Harriet's. Well, we are an academic school, we pride ourselves on that because our pupils do work hard. So the majority go to universities, uh, the popular ones at the moment are St Andrews and Glasgow in Scotland and probably Durham, Exeter and Leeds in England at the moment but it changes all the time. Some of our pupils go on to do gap years before going to university. But once you join Harriet's or once you leave Harriet's, there's a huge Harriet's or network out there. We've got over 11,000 FPs who are regularly in touch with our development office and they provide support to our students in the form of mentoring or visits. And they come back and they connect with us on a regular basis. And I think I'd like to finish just by saying that once a Harrieter, always a Harrieter. You will always think of distributing cheerfully, of, of giving kindness, generosity, support to others. And that's really what makes Harriet special. So I hope that you will consider becoming part of the Harriet's community. Thank you.